Levi Stubbs was a cousin of the singer Jackie Wilson? Levi Stubbs was the baritone lead singer of the unbelievable R&B group The Four Tops. He assumed a significant part in the gathering's prosperity, contributing his strong and close-to-home singing style to various Motown hit records during the 1960s and 1970. Stubbs' particular voice and emotional conveyance put him aside, separated from his commitments to music. Levi Stubbs was additionally elaborated in voice, representing film and TV so on the off chance that you're a Levi Stubbs fan or basically inquisitive about this legend, hit the like button, and we should make a plunge. Levi Stubbs' early life The same Levi hits conceived Levi Stubbles on June 6, 1936, in Detroit, were important for a blessed family with a gift for music. His folks Daisy and Levi Stubbles raised him close by his sibling Joe Stubbs and sister Thelma. Strikingly, Levi's more youthful sibling Joe likewise sought after a lifelong career in music and turned into a famous vocalist. To Jackie Wilson, an eminent soul vocalist, as he was their cousin experiencing childhood in a family profoundly associated with music. Levi was normally attracted to it. He began singing early on and his energy for music strengthened during his secondary school years. This early openness and love for music established the groundwork for his future profession in the business. How Levi Stubbs got into the music industry Levi hits, went to Detroit Pursing Secondary School, where he encountered Abdul Duke Fakir alongside two other music devotees, Ronaldo Benson and Lawrence Ponce. They shaped a melodic gathering called Four Points, beginning from humble starting points. The four AMS played out their underlying gig at a birthday celebration and, step by step, advanced to nearby bars and clubs, improving their abilities and building a neighborhood fan base in the wake of a partnership with Chess Records. The gathering changed their name to The Four Tops. The choice to change the gathering's name from The Four regarding The Four Tops was made to stay away from disarray with the P.O. famous as siblings around then. This change permitted them to lay out a remarkable and recognizable personality in the music business, regardless of recording various melodies for Chess Records. They didn't make huge progress anyway, their fortunes changed when their companion Barry Gordy Jr., who possessed Motown Records, brought in some assistance in 1964. Their single child, I Want Your Cherishing, suddenly moved to the 11th spot on the bulletin pop outline denoting a defining moment in their profession. This achievement propelled them to move their concentration towards popular music, veering off from their jazz roots in spite of the fact that Stubbs was a characteristic baritone and most Four Tops hits were written in tenor territory to give the lead vocals a need to get going. In 1972, The Gathering left Motown and joined ABC Records, despite the fact that they momentarily rejoined with Motown during the 1990s for a Christmas collection, their return didn't yield the normal outcomes as the 1990s advanced. The Four Tops progressed from studio accounts to live exhibitions, enthralling crowds with their immortal hits in front of an audience. After a short break in 1978, the Four Tops got back in the saddle in 1981 with Casablanca Records delivering a collection named This Evening Anyway. Their prominence had faded at this point, and they confronted difficulties staying significant all through that. 1980s and 1990s Misfortune struck in 1997 when Lawrence Payton, one of the first individuals, died. The gathering went on as a triplet for some time prior to enrolling Theo individuals finishing the sea again in spite of the difficulties furthermore. Changes the four tops getting through legacy gone on through their live exhibitions, keeping their notable music alive for ages of fans. For what? Reason did Levi Hits not go it alone? The four tops RAR capacity in their arrangement was momentous in the ever-changing scene of music bunches. In spite of Levi Stubbs' tremendous prevalence as the lead artist, he opposed the charm of a performance profession dissimilar to other Motown behaves like Smokey Robinson and the supernatural occurrences or Diana Ross and the Supreme Stubbs declined separate charging, showing his unfaltering dedication to his bandmates, Hits got various proposals to set out alone a demonstration of his singular ability and mystique anyway he reliably turned down these open doors deciding to stay focused on the four top. Indeed, even in the domain of acting, Barry Gordy, the pioneer behind Motown Records, offered Stubbs a conspicuous job in the 1972 film Woman Sings the Blues, close by Diana Ross Billy occasion. Anyway, Hits declined this proposal, too reluctant to eclipse his kindred of Four Tops individuals. His choices mirrored his profound feeling of fellowship and solidarity inside the gathering. Focusing on 
the aggregate character of the four tops over private distinction and acknowledgement, Stubbs additionally made visitor appearances on different network programs depicting himself. These activities displayed his ability as well as built up his devotion to the gathering's inheritance, underscoring the significance of their solidarity and shared achievement. Levi Stubbs' faithful obligation to the Four Tops consists essentially of their getting through congruity and their famous status in the music business. What were the greatest tunes Levi Stubbs sang to for the Four Tops? Levi Stubbs as the lead artist of the Four Tops loaned his strong vocals to various hits, highlighting a portion of their greatest melodies and incorporating one child. I really want your caring 1964, their cutting edge hit that. I arrived at the main 20 on diagram 2. I can't assist myself with sugaring the pie sweet bunch. 1965, a graph beat single that became one of their particular melodies, 3 Connect. And I'll be there. 1966 was an enormous hit, arriving at number one on the outlines and becoming one of Motown's defining tracks. For Bernadette, 1967 one more top 10 hit known for Stubbs emotive vocals, five remaining in the shadows of adoration 1966 a best 10 hit highlighting Stubbs' unmistakable voice. 6. It's Old News 1965, an exemplary Four Tops hit that exhibited Stubbs. Strong Conveyance 7 isn't no lady like the one I have from 1973, a post-1960s hit that showed Stubbs' perseverance through ability, among others featured Stubbs' remarkable vocal ability, and contributed altogether. To the Four Tops' legacy as perhaps of Motown's most notorious gathering, who was Levi's spouse and kids. Levi Stubbs married Kenis Stubbs in 1960, and their perseverance through the association went on for nearly 48 years until his demise in 2008. Together, they had five youngsters and their family kept on developing with 11 grandkids, and 10 extraordinary grandkids Stubbs was a dedicated spouse and father and consistently set aside a few minutes for his family. In spite of his bustling timetable, their durable marriage and the caring family they fabricated turned into a necessary piece of individual legacy. Levi Hitz passed on Levi Stubbs confronted a progression of well-being challenges, remembering a stroke in 1995 and a malignant growth conclusion in 2000 for which he went through chemotherapy regardless of these hardships he endured, proceeding to perform and visit with the four tops until his retirement in 2008. Sadly, Stubbs' well-being declined further prompting his passing on October 17, 2008, at 72 years old. He calmly died in his rest at his house, and a commemoration administration joined in by various specialists from the music business was held 10 days after the fact that, respecting his wonderful legacy in the realm of music, Levi Stubbs' legacy Detroit City Board part Joe and Watson and Martha. Reeves perceiving Levi Stubbs' critical commitments to music introduced a goal naming Stubbs' birthday Levi Stubbs Day in Detroit. A fitting recognition for his inheritance hits was let go of Detroit's historic wood. La Cemetery denotes his last resting place and respects his influence on the city and the music business. Ronaldo Benson's passing on July 1, 2005, denoted a huge misfortune, leaving Duke Fakir as the sole enduring individual from the Four Tops' unique setup. Levi Stubbs' last exhibition with The Gathering occurred at their 50th commemoration show on July 28, 2004, held at the Detroit Opera House, honoring their getting-through melodic excursion.